All of the problems covered in my videos can be downloaded at accountingworkbook.com. If you go to the website, click the PDF link, you can download a copy of the workbook for yourself. Also on the website, you'll find links to all of my accounting videos, not just the ones I've uploaded to YouTube. I've uploaded over a hundred extra videos on this website that you can't find on YouTube. So I do hope you'll check out accountingworkbook.com. All right, let's begin our problem. All right, let's examine problem 8-4a. It has us disposing of a depreciable asset at a gain or a loss. So we're going to buy an asset, we're going to use it for some time, and then we're going to sell it, and the company's either going to make a gain or a loss on the sale. So let's have a look. Bill's Towing purchased a new tow truck on April 1st, 2017 for $110,000 cash. Okay, so let's do this journal entry. Let's do the journal entries kind of as we see them. So the first one... Well, I guess I can leave it up here. Uh, April 1st, 2017. So, and this is our answer to part A. I, I've kind of scanned the question ahead here. Uh, April 1st, 2017. We bought a new tow truck for 110 grand cash. So debit, we'll just call it truck. I mean, we could say tow truck, but that's fine. Credit cash, 110K. Okay, so there's journal entry A in the bed. Company expects to keep the truck for 10 years, after which time it plans to sell it for 20 grand. Okay, so let's see, 110,000 is our cost. Our residual value is 20. So our depreciable cost is 90. Again, cost, residual value, depreciable cost is 90 and we're going to depreciate that 90 it's straight line the company's account use wishes to use straight line so we're going to do that over 10 years so that's at a rate of nine thousand dollars per year okay so we've got our amortization rate or our depreciation rate uh, let's see what happens april 1st uh, bills towing has a fiscal year end of august 31st so it says the second part says uh, record the required year-end adjustments. So the required year-end adjustment, the adjustment that get us up to August 31st, B, is how many months? Well, April, May, June, July, August. It's five months. So we said it was 9,000 bucks in depreciation for a year. We're only interested in five twelfths of a year. Nine thousand times five twelfths is thirty-seven fifty. So we debit depreciation expense, and we credit accumulated depreciation on our truck. And this is like the journal entry that we learned way back in chapter three. Debit depreciation expense, credit accumulated depreciation truck. So at the end of our fiscal year, our truck is worth 110 grand minus 37.50, and that's just our truck minus the accumulated depreciation. That's 106.250. That's our truck's net book value that will show on our fiscal year end financial statements. C. On November 30th, Bill sells the truck. Record depreciation up to the date. So let's see, it's August now. So August, September, October, November. It's three months after that. So uh, um, November 30th, 2017, we have an additional three months of amortization. It was 9,000 for a year. We're doing three twelfths of a year. Twenty-two fifty in depreciation. So, I debit depreciation expense. We always have to depreciate an asset up to the date of the sale, and so that's what we're doing here. Twenty-two fifty. We credit accumulated depreciation on our truck for twenty-two fifty. We're just depreciating this up to the date of the sale. So. Just out of curiosity, what's my truck's net book value on the date of the sale? Well, again, the truck's cost was 110. Oops, didn't want to underline there. Uh, the amount of depreciation so far has been 
3750 and 2250 the amount of the depreciation so far has been six thousand dollars and that's just 3750 plus 2250 that's the accumulated depreciation so again truck minus accumulated depreciation equals truck net our trucks net book value is 104,000 okay so so far up to here nothing really new I mean a couple of partial year amortization entries but nothing crazy new now something new assume uh, so part D I we'll look at I I in a second uh, assume Bill sold the truck for a hundred and six grand cash record the journal entry for the sale okay so we get paid hundred and six thousand dollars for this truck debit cash 106 we got to get rid of the truck the truck is on our books for a hundred and ten thousand dollars there's the truck sitting on our books we don't have any other debits or debits or credits to truck we also have to get rid of the accumulated depreciation on the truck and the total accumulated depreciation is 3750 and 2250 it's six thousand dollars so I get rid of the a d truck for six thousand dollars now I've got to say to myself well I'm missing a number here right I've got hundred and twelve thousand in debits just 106 plus six I got hundred and ten in credits I'm missing a two thousand dollar credit that difference and, and it should make some sense we got paid hundred and six thousand dollars cash for a truck that's on our books for hundred and four we got paid more than what we thought the truck was worth so I'm gonna ask you is this a gain or is this a loss and the answer is this is a gain we got paid more than the truck was worth on the books uh, therefore this is a gain on sale and that's the account we we credit credit gain on sale of truck so that's our journal entry and it's also a November 30th 2017 entry for the sale of the truck again we got paid 106 for an asset that we thought was worth 104 the journal entry works we debit cash we get rid of the truck and the accumulated depreciation related to the truck and the difference goes to gain or loss let's look at part ii of the question part two i guess would be a cooler way to say that um we get paid just 85,000. so we have the same truck worth 104 but rather than getting 106 for the 104 asset we only get 85,000. I, I think you can all project this is going to be a loss situation we got paid less than what the truck was worth on our books November 30th 2017 debit cash this time just for eighty five thousand dollars we got to get rid of the truck so we credit truck for 110 we got to get rid of any accumulated depreciation on the truck so debit a D truck for uh, six thousand dollars and then I look at this journal entry and I'm, I'm imbalanced again I have 91 grand in debits I have on 10 in credits I'm off by 19,000 in debits I debit loss on sale so I just want to compare the two entries they're almost identical entries the difference is the cash and the gain or loss this one when I get paid more it's a it's a gain so why do I credit gains and debit losses well gains are revenues when we prepare our financial statements we're listing all of our revenues and expenses this would be listed as an other revenue other revenues and expenses this is an other revenue when I have a gain it's an other expense when I have a loss on sale so very important concept one I test every single test when I'm giving exams and one year prof probably will uh, want you to examine pretty closely and will want you to understand so again ABC doesn't matter which you know how much money we're getting this is what you'd have to do buy the asset depreciate it right up till the date of the sale then when we sell it we have to determine was there a gain or a loss and how much was that gain or loss so I hope this has been clear to you there's one more problem that explores this uh, problem 8-4b that we'll be doing uh, well you can click on anytime all right talk to you soon